Why do the A4 sheets of paper we use measure 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters? I mean, what's the sense in that? Wouldn't 20 by 30 centimeters be a more sensible size? But in fact, no, that's not the case, because the ratio between these measurements is geometrically perfect. If we fold an A4 sheet in half, we get two sheets that have exactly half the area of the original sheet, but perfectly maintain the proportions of the A4 format. And this miraculous preservation of ratios doesn't happen for all formats. This is just any sheet. It's not an A4. And if I fold it in half, I get two sheets with a completely different shape. You see, it's elongated. I've completely lost the original proportions of the sheet. Instead, if we double the size of the A4 by having two of them side by side, we get a sheet with double the area, but which still perfectly maintains the proportions of the original sheet. And what we've done is create an A3 sheet. And we can go on doing this. Doubling the A3, we get an A2. Doubling that again, we get an A1. And doubling that once more, we get an A0, all with the same proportions. But how is that possible? It's thanks to the ratio between the lengths of their sides. In all these formats, it's equal to the square root of two. The A0 from which these formats originate was chosen for this very reason. A large sheet measuring one square meter and the length of its sides were chosen precisely because their ratio was equal to the square root of two. But why does the ratio between the sides remain the square root of two when it's divided into two sheets? Well, Let's consider any sheet in which the ratio between the sides be and is equal to the square root of 2, approximately 1.414, and so on. If we divide the sheet in half, we get two sheets with sides A and B divided by 2. The ratio between the two sides, always taking the longer side over the shorter side, becomes a over B divided by 2, which equals 2, we bring the two up times a over b. And a over b is exactly the inverse of this, and therefore it's one over the square root of two. And what is two divided by the square root of two? It's the square root of two. And so going on, continuing to divide, the ratio of the sides is always the square root of two. The A4 sheet therefore has 1 16th of the area of the A0 sheet and exactly the same ratio between its sides. In fact, if we divide 29.7 by 21, which are the lengths of its sides, we get 1.414, which is the square root of 2. 